Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, in this video, we will talk about, uh, as usual, about Islam, as you know, but about the rules Muhammad he come with. Where Muhammad he get his rules? Is he really coming his rule, bringing his rule from God, or this guy is coming with rules in different way? I found this website actually. Uh, a friend uh, he sent it to me. Uh, I'm very happy to find this website because the good thing about it you will find the hadith in Arabic in the right side and the hadith in English in the left side which make me uh, able easier to show both and in the same time it shows you in the screen as you see if you notice with me here uh, it show you if this hadith is uh, considered uh, sahih or not However, you know, the Muslim, when they say it's sahih or not, that for me, it doesn't mean anything, really. Uh, because at the end of the day, Muslim, they decide what is uh, correct or sahih means correct. They decide what is correct, what is not, mostly based on today value. Like Al-Albani, you know, who is Al-Albani? Al-Albani, he, he's just uh, a guy, He, I think now he died. But I mean, this is something Something happened today. Who is Al-Albani anyway? To decide what is correct and uh, or it's not. However, the Muslim Sunni they consider this guy is a bad guy for them. But you need to notice that this guy Alabani, he considers things based in his measurement today because now today things is different. So when Muhammad he says something extremely stupid, Alabani he might say it's not true. So I'm not considering Alabani. When he say it is sahih, which means correct, as you see here, sahih, which means correct. The funny, the Muslims, they translate now to English, but still they are using the Arabic word. Like at least, you know, you're translating, just say it's correct. What sahih? This is the Arabic one, it says sahih. Here we understand, so the one who speak Arabic will know it is Arabic. So what, what you are saying, sahih, you know, they are copying, you know, the, 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 the Arab, they are hijacking the mind of those dummy Muslims. So even it is in English, still it is the word, it is sahih. What's sahih for someone who is from England? Tell him it's correct. However, welcome to Islam. Anyway, so this is a very sahih hadith, brother, Muslims. So don't tell me this is not sahih. It is sahih, okay? Now let us see what your prophet did in this sahih story. What your prophet did. Let me make this, uh, the text a little bigger so we can read together a better way. All right, that is better. So now you can see it in English. The Arabic one is not important no more. So the messenger of Allah said, act differently from the Jews, for they do not pray in their sandals or their shoes. Uh-oh. What, 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 what? And by the way, I can show you tons of examples. As, as an example, Muhammad once he saw uh, uh, a bunch of Jews walking by and they saw him uh, praying uh, so the Jew he said to him oh Muhammad this is how we pray so Muhammad he said sit down sit down don't pray the same as the Jews <laughs> but now we will find a problem here if you think deeply as long as this is approved by Muslim that this is a correct hadith, if you think deeply about this, it means Muhammad, all the rules of a prayer he has, it's not from God. He is switching the way they pray just because this is how the Jews they pray. However, if this is how Muhammad he say, Muhammad saying you should not pray this way as the Jews they pray, well, the Muslims today, they pray without their shoes. So what happened? How he say to them, act differently from the Jews, for they do not pray in their sandals or their shoes, which means you pray, you pray, we're in your, uh, your sandals, you Muslim, you should pray, we're in sandals. But Muslims don't do that. I will tell you what happened. When the when was the Jews around, Muhammad he don't want them to say uh, you are copy from us. But when Muhammad he killed all the Jews, ah, uh, who care? 
we pray the one the way we like we the way we want and the Jews they like it they don't like it anyway I killed them all so this is number one reason but now we have a very bad problem for Muhammad and for the Muslims if you think about this deeply you will find that this guy is not coming with the way Muslim they pray from God this guy is just come in with his own rules, whatever. Oh, he saw the Jews, he they pray this way. Okay, act differently from the Jews. So if the Jews do they pray without wearing their sandals, he will take off his sandals off. If the Jews they pray uh, wearing their clothes, he will pray naked. If the Jews they uh, uh, you know simply do oppose the Jews in your act, even in the prayer, which means this is not from God. It is just to oppose the Jews. And that will lead me to something more dangerous. The way Muslims today, uh, they color their beard. Uh, I'm sure many of you saw uh, how Muslims, they color their beard. They try to be blonde. Do you know why? Look, it's in the front of your eyes. Muhammad simply doing it because the Christian and the Jews, they don't do so. I heard the messenger of Allah as saying the Jews and the Christian do not dye their hair so act differently from them like what <laughs> what's wrong with this guy so anything anything the, the Jews and the Christian they do act differently from them like why you need okay if, if, if people do not like is it normal to dye your hair so if the Jews and the Christians do not dye their hair, well, you dye your hair. You see, this guy, he has a mental problem. It's mean, it's mean what he does, it's not from God. It's just to oppose. This is not about religion. This is not about right and wrong. It's just to oppose. He's trying to, to make himself like, I'm not copying from you. The fact he copy, who cares about dyeing your hair or not? You copy everything from the Christian and the Jews. The hat the Muslim they wear when they go to Hajj is a Jewish hat. Most of the prayer Muslims, they, even Assalamu Alaikum, this is a Jewish uh, greeting. Shalom to you, Mary. Assalamu Alaikum. Go to uh, go to Israel right now and see. This is a, this is a Jewish greeting. This is not an Islamic greeting. You copy everything from them because he feel guilty of copy right. He try to change. So he will make like, you know what, I'm not copying from you. I am a prophet. I am a stand-alone prophet. But all of us, we know that Muhammad is not a stand-alone prophet. This is why all of the origin of Islam is based on cursing the Jews and the Christians and attacking them. Islam cannot stand by itself. So there's tons of hadith like this. But that is nothing yet. Let us see something more. How the Muslim they should agree with each other. Again, it's not about how, it's just to oppose. From his father, from his grandfather, from every stupid idiot, the messenger he said, he is not the one of us who resemble other than us. No, who resemble the Jew nor the Christians, for indeed the greeting of the Jews is pointing the finger and the greeting of the Christians is waving the hands. So simply, this guy he is just opposing everything, everything, everything. It doesn't matter. Like, what the point? Like, what's wrong? Is that is that like? Are you going to be really a bad person if you if you wave your hand? Huh? What what the problem? What is that? Is that sin? This is a stupid. This is madness. Simply, this guy he is just trying to be different. He come in. He's he's trying to be okay. What what they do? What they do? They wave their hands like this. Don't wave their hand like this. Okay. Uh, they wave their uh, their finger. No, don't don't do that. So what we do? And why we cannot do that? And I challenge any Muslim to tell me why. And where he's coming with this from? Like, did, did Allah says to him, don't wave your hand? Like, is it haram, brother? Do you think Allah is the one who told him, don't use your hand to wave your hand to say hello? 
Mashallah, brother, must be true. Come on. Anyway, the Muslim they say here that this hadith is da'if. Now, why this one is da'if? <laughs> we saw many before him, he's just opposing. Why this one is da'if? Very funny. Anyway, let's continue. This one is da'if. Unbelievable. The religion of the Abduls. Now, during my, uh, I'm looking for the other hadith, I found this one. Just uh, what I, what get my attention here is not really what it says, because in here it says that the the the, the ransom uh, if a Muslim he killed non-Muslim a Muslim will not be killed. All right, uh, the Muslim will not be killed for the disbeliever. This is the justice of Islam. You see the justice of Islam. So when Muslim they say to you, if someone killed in Islam he should be killed, but they will not tell you that in Islam if a Muslim killed a Christian. The Muslim will not be killed for killing a Christian. He will be killed for killing a Muslim. And when the stupid uh, Obama, uh, the Muslim Obama, he tried to fool us say, saying, there's a verse in the Quran that says, if a man killed one man as if he killed all mankind, that verse is speaking about killing a Muslim. However, what got my attention here, you can read your own the, the, the thing in here. Uh, for, sure, for sure, this is very ugly, disgusting justice showing you the racism of Islam because Islam is a gang. Racism is not only about race. Racism about my group will not be equal to your group and rights. And in, in this is inside an Islamic state. We are talking about state here. Like imagine we make like a law in America saying, uh, if a Christian kill a Muslim, the Christian should not be executed for killing a Muslim, as if you are killing a dog. This is how filthy this religion is. This is a very filthy religion. There is no justice, and yet they speak about honor and justice, etc. But as you see, this is a religion of discrimination. However, the reason I'm mentioning this one is not because of this, actually. I want to show you the hypocrisy and the cheating of Islam. How many times I mentioned to you before that Muslims are not honest in the translation? Look how short the translation in English, and look how big the hadith in Arabic. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> like what happened? The Arabic one is almost a page. Look how big it is. The English one is not even uh, the one, two, three, four line and a half. Like what happened? It's a diet time. Is that a diet season? Anyway, let us continue. Let us continue. In this hadith in front of us, in Sahih al-Bukhari, uh, Muhammad is trying to find a way to call for the prayer. And you will find in here, they are saying that the Jews, they used to use a fire as a sign for the time for the for the prayer, and like announcement, which uh, something uh, uh, strange. However, and the Christian, they use the bell. So Muhammad, he have to come with something new, so he ordered Bilal, to announce it by Adan. He cannot use the bell, the same as the Christians, and he cannot use what the Jews do. So simply the Adan was just to oppose. It wasn't because Allah, he told him to do so. It wasn't because this is part of Islam. It is just to oppose what the Christians and what the Jews do. As you see here, the people mentioned, they are looking what we, how we should call for the prayer. The people, it's not even Muhammad in this case, the people. Mention the fire, okay? They mentioned to Muhammad the fire. Let us uh, call for the prayer by fire. What about the bell? Okay, but those in indication of the prayer they are practiced by the Christian and the Jews, so they are rejected. Then Bilal, he was ordered to announce the prayer by the Adam. So simply, you will notice that everything Muhammad he do is just to oppose the Christians and the Jews. Not because it is from God, which means all of Islam actually is just a creation of his mind to come with rules which is not coming from God, it's just to oppose the Christian and the Jews. And this is another hadith. Actually, there's a, 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 like unlimited number. I can show you maybe hundreds of them. And this is, as you see, Sahih hadith. You know, the, 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 like whatever the Jews they do, even it's about the hair. So what I'm trying to say to you in a simple words, Muhammad, he don't have a religion, 
He is just trying to create a religion opposing the Christian and the Jews. God bless and thank you.